Fuck the Invisi Sticks. Subject 89 with the sub. Thank you. Appreciate the sub. Fellow Global Sim Alliance. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for starting us off right. The, uh, yeah. Yeah, we're going to have some fun tonight. Uh, as the title uh, shows, we've got uh, Release Candidate for Salt Lake City for X Plane 11 and 10 from Mr. X. This is Release Candidate, folks. So, uh, whoa. The Weapon 78, thank you for the snub. The snub? I was trying to say, oh, snack and and sub at the same time, and it came back as, thank you for the snub. (laughs) No, thank you for the subscription. The Weapon 78, I appreciate that. Welcome to the Snack Shack. Thank you for joining us. Hello to uh, a bunch of you jumped in there uh, very, very early. Uh, I'll just go ahead and go through the list here. We got... uh, we got wow, we got a ton of you in here. This is great. We got uh DMB Bird forty eight, how you doing, Bird? Nightbot, I'll smoke a tea. Yo, John Fly. Acknowledge the Iowa follower. Flyer. We got Nick O'Damper with the follow. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome. We got Jay Belcher ninety one. Mile high FSX subject eighty nine. Alex nine five four two three. Brad A G Chief Lynn. Computer Fly and DJ Jonas eighty six cable guy eight oh three. Got uh, Dragon Twitch, Epic Nobody 26, Fell 208, Phipps Pilot, Game Time 79, Garrett 67, Gam K 42, Gilmer, Joseph Arns, K Adams 587, Crame 86, Creamers, Microsoft Gamer XD, Mr. Chocolate 17, Nico Dampfer, thank you again for the follow, Polygon, Rain Dog 757, Scotty Adair, Starman to Fly, Swell 217, The Weapon 78, Tim Rodeo 314, and also two spooks united 8x vipers 53 wayne 7154 hello wayne whoop pig 787 and a bunch of others skid rock coming in there we got uh, a bunch of you joining us uh since the uh, the list was generated so welcome welcome Yo, john fly solitaire p38 we got another follow whoop pig 787 thank you guys um yeah so we're gonna have some fun tonight um this is, uh, I, I got a couple of announcements uh, regarding uh, uh, Mr. X. So in just a little bit, we will uh, give out uh, one of one of a couple of different, and there might be three announcements, well, depending on the situation. Crazy Diamond, how you doing? So yeah, so um, this is Salt Lake City release candidate one, and um, it looks really good. I mean, I, I'm running this, with uh, with X and Viral right now, this is uh, 2K cloud textures, and uh, yeah, you guys have seen uh, this uh, come along on my stream. I was able to uh, stream uh, beta one, beta two, beta three, and now release candidates. So we're right there. I'll go through the change log, um, and we'll talk about a few things. Uh, I think. The uh, what I may do first is go through the change log and f- and go around the airport in in a uh, pan camera mode, and then I might take a, a a plane around for a bit as well. So yeah, Starman to fly. I'm doing well. Hope you're well. We already got the uh, we got the roulette table going. Uh, oh, Microsoft Gamer XD. Yeah, that we used to have a program where we had people that sponsored subs, but it's no longer, uh, no longer happening. So, but you don't need to subscribe. Just, uh, just participate in the chat. Have a good time with it. Uh, no Maverick, this is not on the new system, but the good news is the new system will arrive very shortly. So we'll be rocking a 7,700 K processor and a, uh, T a 1080 TI. A video card here pretty soon very very soon um so yeah uh 
Yeah. So J Snap, I mean, you you brought it up, so I'll I'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and talk about that if you want me to. Do you want me to talk about that? <laughs> so uh, so uh, I basically loaded up in the uh, in the wrong plane at this airport, but we're gonna do it anyway. Well, let's let's go through the chains log. I'll, I'll talk about the old SFD ripoff of Mr. X textures. Um, I can talk about that if you, if you want to. I I'm I like I like talking about the, the nitty gritty. Um, so yeah, so um, let's go through the change log, I, 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 and then I can talk about SFD ripping off Mr. X textures for Salt Lake City. <laughs> uh, so according to the change log, since beta three, new quote SR parking positions have been added south of Concourse. A. Oh, here we go. Is it black? Oh, red five. Ooh. Ooh. A lot of people lost money there. Confliction. Thank you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, I'm a man of the nitty and quite a bit of the gritty. Yeah, I, okay. I'll give you the I'll give you the nitty gritty. Yes, there was uh there was a, a report that a company called uh, SFD or otherwise known as Short Final Design. Uh, was releasing a uh, Salt Lake City payware product here, and and they gave a a, a, a preview uh, shot of uh, uh, several preview shots of the airport. I want to know what quote SR parking spots are south of a concourse, because this is a right here. This is a, and this is south. So do you think that the SR parking spots are these parking spots here? They are. Look at that. So we got SR1. Sorry if you get a little bit dizzy here. We got SR1, SR2, SR5. Four. Okay, so those have been added, so that's great. So anyway, um, there was a, uh, a website called Explained, and they, they released the... Um, Uh, an article, a preview of SFD's uh, Salt Lake International uh, Airport. I'm just bringing up the article now. Turbinator, I will give you the whole skinny. So, so here's the article. Preview SFD Salt Lake City International uh, short final design, blah, 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 blah. And here's the, the screenshots, right? So you go through here and you look at the screenshots and you're going, whoa, can you believe someone put all this effort into a Salt Lake City and Mr. X is going to release it as well? What the snack? So anyway, here's the skinny. I'm going to sue SFD. I'm, I'm take, I'm making, no, I'm just kidding. I am just kidding. So short final design, uh, short final design is Mr. X. Mr. X is short final design. Uh, he is, uh, it's a payware product. It makes sense for him to go with a, uh, a business name. And, uh, so that is the new name that he has chosen for his, uh, uh, scenery company. So you can rest assured that there will be only one Salt Lake City, uh, international airport being released, uh, uh, in, in the very, 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 very near future. Um, so yeah. It, it, when I saw that article, I was a little bit concerned. I'm not going to lie. Oh, my gosh. they got Look at that. The catering truck is actually going into this little parking area, and then it'll pull out of the part of that particular area. That's really cool. Yeah, Ranger 79. Totally true. Totally true. So, yeah, Mr. X uh, KSLC will be, will be payware. So, yeah. But regarding that, I've got a couple other announcements that I'll do here in just a bit. We'll wait for a few more people to to stumble in before we uh, before we give out all the announcements. But I like how the catering truck is now following a path out. That is, I I, I like that. That's something new since the beta that I was copying. Uh, I see a bunch of other new stuff. As well, just that are, it's not even listed necessarily in the changelog, or I may have uh, not noticed. 
a crazy diamond? I don't know the price. That is not that that particular bit of information has not been told to me. Um, but what has been added here are some amazing uh, desert type flora, which is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. So this is the waiting area where you wait. Uh, in fact, my uh, my wife waited here yesterday uh, to pick me up from my uh, flight back from New York because some of you were where we took that real world flight down to the Bahamas. So yeah. In the article when it said custom airplane parking, is that auto gate support or something replacing that? Um, he... Uh, he went into a, some detail a little bit about a new uh, a new thing and I'll, I'll I'll show you what well what I think that's referring to let me uh let me see if I can pull that up now that we're talking about it so so this this is the the manual that comes with it and uh it says SFD right here, so that's short, short final design. And in the Salt Lake City, and this is, again, it'll work with X-Plane 10 and 11. Um, but I, I won't go over everything, but right here, I, I don't know if, it's, if, he's, if, you, if he's referring to the docking guidance system. So this scenery is equipped with the, docking, the custom docking guidance system that mimics the real airport. So the light signals how far you are away from the stopping point. As you approach the gate, the green light will turn on. This means that your aircraft was recognized and you can proceed to move closer. So I'm not sure. Uh, so it, you need to have auto gate installed for that to work, but that may be what what it's being referred to, I think. Anyway, there's more details in the manual, but I won't, I won't give them all away. Um, hello, Tim Rodeo. Good evening, Gavin K. AOW Moab Slayer. Mr. X is rocking the eclipse. Very nice. How much? What's the other question? Oh. Yoni Wolf twelve o two with a subscription. Thank you very very much. Thank you for letting me rock the Invisi sticks. Um, yeah, I don't know the price, so we'll, uh, it's, it's all conjecture until we find out. But. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's 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 definitely high time for him to get a little bit of fruit for his labor. Let's let's put it that way. So, um, I'm kind of excited that the desert type of flora was included in this scenery because um, when we were making our video, we did this drive around the terminal to give the and we gave the video information to Mr. X. And it included a lot of this desert flora that I had never really noticed before, so I was really happy that that was be able to be incorporated into the into that uh, into the sim. What's been added here also is um, these road signs that are true to life. So this is exactly what is listed when I, when I pull into Salt Lake City in the real world. For those of you who don't know, I live in Salt Lake City, so uh, rental car return parking terminals, etc. We'll just take a quick look here. I'm going out of order on the change log, but I like that. I like that. And I saw these in the article for SFD, and I got really scared. <laughs> I'm not sure if the ortho photo cars. Um, I'm not sure if those will still will be there in the final release, or 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 is that from my ortho? I, I don't know yet, but. There was another question. Are the GSA train cars still there? Let's find out. So let's see if the Global Sim Alliance is still. Yes, it is. It's still on the car, as I would. I wouldn't have guessed it would have gone anywhere. So we got the Global Sim Alliance Twitch stream team. In fact, it seems to be a little higher res. And again, for those of you who don't know the story, I was able to be fortunate enough to to be involved in the in the project in a little way and taking some photographs of train cars and textures and airport this and that and the other and some of it was is has been used in the sim so but yeah there's our twitch our beloved twitch team which 
Uh, I don't believe I'm streaming under right now because I got a few, another week or two, I think, left on. Well, am I streaming under Global Sim Alliance right now or am I still under the Twitch New Partners? The Twitch New Partners has gone away. Hello, Tim Rodeo. What else we got going on here? Yes, you get a free virtual snack, Yoni Wolf. That's right. Yeah, it makes sense for, for me to be a beta tester. I haven't been able to report too many things, uh, just little bits and pieces, but uh, yeah. Yeah. So let's go through the change log a little bit more. By the way, the trains do move. So as you can see here, the train is coming into the station with the Global Sim Alliance logo on it. Okay, added the unique road signs. We showed some of those. Okay, added a Boeing facility. Now, I know I know of a Boeing facility, or I know of a Boeing building that's way in the distance away from, so I'm not sure if what he refers to as a Boeing facility. So I'm going to take a quick run over here to see if maybe I can spot it. Yeah, it's trains him all in one. Is this going to be another one of his? No, it's it'll be payware. Yeah, it's going to be payware this time. There we go. Okay, so I. Okay, so yeah. I'm glad that he he uh, included this Boeing building. So this is new for the release candidate. Um, I took a picture of this as well. He probably used some Google Earth or other photos online. Um, but I'm glad that that was in there because that's a, a Boeing office and uh, other, I don't know what all runs there actually, but uh, the textures look great. I just want to take a look at one thing. <clears throat> oh, here we go. So I took a picture of the Boeing building right there. And so here's one of the buildings that shows the texture and the and the logo of course, et cetera. So that's pretty cool that that uh that <laughs> yeah. I mean he could get an idea. I, I don't know if he used much of this of uh, this picture for reference, but I'm glad that uh that the building's in there. Oh, the other thing I was going to look at is the, um, oh yeah, so here is, here is the video showing the, the kind of the deserty type feel right here. So you can get a, an idea for the, the desert type flora as we're, as we're driving around the airport. And of course you can, you know. pause it to get an idea of, of the different textures so it looks looks like that may have been used to for an, for an idea what to inc include in the uh, in the airport one other thing I was going to look at all right well let's continue with the change log added correct added and corrected taxi signs okay so I don't know. I better change the time of day here. Let's go take a look. I, to be honest with you, I'm not going to know what what taxiway signs are, are new, but in true fashion of Mr. X quality, you see a lot of quality uh, paint and taxi signs. So there's Quebec there. Yeah, right, AOW. That's right. Yeah, Weapon 78, it does really look good, huh? Tim, quite a few ground buildings missing, though it's not a particularly big deal. Well, come, some of that could be my object settings also. So you got some taxiway signs there. Yeah. The other thing that's uh, added some missing buildings to the GA and uh, military area. So let's go take a quick look over there. Will he release it on the org store? The answer 
to that is yes. It will be on the org store. And that was a question that was lingering for, for some time as to where it was going to be sold. Um, I'm not sure which buildings are new. I, I don't have a... I'm thinking that a couple of these buildings back in the back are new. Yeah, I think a couple of those 3D buildings are... are new. I think this one back here is new. Oh, it just looks great though. So yeah, very, very big news. He'll be releasing it on the org. Now as far as timing, um, I, I can't say, I, I, I won't say, I, I've been given a, a strong indication of, of some timing, but let's just put it this way. Um, I felt it was important to to show this to you tonight. <laughs> so, and and this is a release candidate, so. All right, let's go through the checklist a little bit or the uh, change log a little bit more. A few more buildings over here. I can tell that there's a little more going on there oh I think that one's new yeah this one's been added Civil Air Patrol trying to remember So excited, I'm talking so much. Up oh, okay, yeah, I took this picture. One second. Ah, here we go. Here we go, folks. So I took this picture of the Utah wing of the Civil Air Patrol. So we got this building here and that sign and the antenna and flag and look <laughs> that is so cool so we got that picture yeah. and look look you got four windows up top four windows there and then the windows below and the flag how how cool is that that's impressive I wonder if upper limit was added here. Let's take a look. So this is a release candidate. So it should be feature complete. Yes. Yes. This this should... Well, I guess to use his exact words, uh, there, there may be some minor last minute changes. So I would say that this is... This is what you're going to... This is what you're going to get. I wanted to know where Oh, there it may be there. Ah, oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. So upper limit aviation. And then um the uh If I c remember correctly, yeah. <laughs> There's a picture I took of upper limit aviation. And you can see the reflection that I took in the picture. You can see the, the fence here and the trees and the sky, etc. And it looks like that was incorporated into this scene here. I mean... <laughs> Hello, Watt. I, w I wish I knew how to make, make scenery. I'd be a thousand there. Yeah. Hey, Leo. Hello, Cessna Rocks. How you doing? Good to see you, Cessna Rocks. Any idea whether he will opt into the points program? I have quite a few points right now. Uh, I don't know if he will or not. 
I don't know how that works. I I I tried to buy something the other day with points, and I guess not everything. I just, I just recently learned that everything wasn't available. Uh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, what else did I take pictures of? Okay, so on the, uh, I don't know if that sign would be in here. Oh, maybe. Let's take a quick look. All right, so we do have the fencing. Oh yeah, that's exact. That's where that fence uh, is placed as well. That's kind of cool. Oh, uh, what am I flying? Ah, uh, this is just a drone right now. It's just a camera. All right, back to the change log. I digress. Added taxiway taxiway edge lights and various ground markers, or markings. Added lights to the roads and parking lots. Okay, let's go take a look at the parking lot and see if we can do some night lighting testing. Yeah, I won't fly right away because we're we're looking at a brand new airport. Okay, so here's the parking lot. Let's go ahead and switch to night lighting. Ooh. Ah ha ha. Now, how cool is that? Oh, we get a little moon in the background. Mmm. I like that. Oh, did, did the Phenom 300 get released on the org store or cause it got released a couple of weeks ago. Did it just get released on the org store or what are you, ref are you, is that what's, is that what's going on? Did he model any parts of Salt Lake city? Yes, he did. And I will, I will go over those where in fact, we're getting very close to that, um, part of the, uh, that part of the testing here. That's pretty cool. Wow. Okay, so the so the night lighting is uh also on the roads. All right, so let's take a look at the the road night lighting. Oh yeah. We got cars and road signs with lighting. That's just amazing. That really is amazing. I, you know what I really should do? I should call the local television stations and say, you want to know something? This very famous scenery designer developed Salt Lake City International, and I want you guys to come to my house and film the simulator. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, the eclipse was released today. I, I already bought that. I, was, I, I just insta-buy. Insta-buy for that eclipse. I haven't flown it yet. Maybe we'll fly that. Did he model the temple in the big city soup? I don't know if he... Uh, it says here that he modeled the state capital. So we'll go over there now. We'll, and there's a couple other things that he modeled that I'll go over. Let's go back to the daytime. Oh, I'll take a quick look at the state capital. I can already see it in the distance. It's right there on the right there on the mountain. It's only released, yeah, on the Carinado site. Yeah, it should be coming pretty soon to the org. They would think you're nuts. I think it would be kind of cool to, you know, 
show how realistic you can, you know, fly around Salt Lake City in your simulator? I don't know. <laughs> All right. Well, there's the capital. She looks really good. That's, that's, it's, I'm impressed. <clears throat> wow. 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 Airbus, how you doing? Local news will come film anything mildly interesting. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, Stephen K. No, I don't have anything planned yet except a Cessna. I'm gonna I'm gonna fly a a Cessna rocks Cessna around for a little bit. Uh, okay, so that's the state capital. It looks great. Let's go see if we can fly, find this helipad. It's supposed to be on the Wells Fargo building. Wow, the Wells Fargo building looks amazing. Oh, wow, it's got Zion's Bank. I recognize these buildings. There's Zion's Bank. There's U.S. Bank. There's Chase, the Chase building, looks amazing. And here's the Wells Fargo building. So supposedly on top of this building is gonna be a nice helipad that you can land on. Yo, John Fly, sure acknowledge enough. the follower. Thank you for the follow, United Fan 737 So there we go. These are helicopter pads. I'm not sure the, I think this one is referred to as, oh, wow, look at the reflections. I think this one's referred to, I think he says here, um, I think it might be in the manual. Uh, Master Matt, I do not know how much he's going to be selling this for. I I, don't, I haven't heard that information yet. So, how about the Utah Jazz Arena? I'm not sure about that yet. Okay, I just wanted to see what this airport. Okay, here we go. Yeah, this is this is uh, got an ICAO code. This building, so it's UT31. It's the Wells Fargo Center helipad. So right there, looks good. Uh, let's go take a look. More city buildings. Let, let's take uh, a lot of these have been added by him. I think some of these may be. Uh, he, in fact, he recommends the W two XP uh, US West Real Life. But what I want to look here on this is the night lighting as well. So there's, oh, it looks so good. Probably doesn't come out too well on the stream, but, hmm. Ooh, I like that time, right? That's kind of cool. And there's the dark of night right there. Yeah, that looks good. All right, let's go take a look at the Kennecott Copper Stack. Uh, I actually haven't learned how to do the uh, how to do the helis yet. I bought the four hundred seven a long time ago, but I haven't flown it yet.
All right, let's go take a look at the Can I Caught Copper. So over here at the edge of this mountain, there is a, uh, a copper um, smelter. And they got this big, huge uh, smokestack that uh, is I th um, that he's modeled. So we're going to go over there and take a quick look. If you could fly your plane closer to these locations, the resolution of the texture is likely to be higher. Yeah. It's taking us a little while to get out there. The ortho scenery gets blurred by X plane based on the distance from the aircraft. Yeah. Yo, John Fly, acknowledge the plane and fly. No, we're not flying anytime soon. I got so much to show this airport. I'm about, uh, I guess I'm about two thirds of the way done with the list. So I didn't see rice cycles. No, I didn't look for it though. Yep, there's the smokestack. The li no, I can't share the change log yet. I can talk about it, but I can't share the text file yet. All right, well, there she is. Oh, she's even got smoke coming out of the top. I'm wondering if this is Mr. X Ortho on top of my Ortho. Can't tell. Because it seems like my Ortho is different. But there she is. She is a very tall lady. But I think this is, I think this is ortho that's been added, but I'm not sure. It's hard to say. Of course, I don't fly that low near the smokestack, so let's go up a little bit and take a look. Do you see any lines? There's a smokestack. Yeah, okay, <clears throat> there's the line. So he has added some ortho here because I can see an ortho line right there. And that's fine. No worries on that one. Maybe disable your ortho as a test. Yeah, I could do that, but I, th in order to do that, I have to restart the sim. All right, let's go back to the airport. And let's go to the change log. All right. Ramp markings, night textures, dynamic reflections, more LED display variants to Concourse E. All right, well, Concourse E is over here. You're right, you're right. If I was there in the aircraft, it would be sharp. You're right. Okay, so you can see we got, we got dynamic reflections on the windows now and that is pretty cool and I think I'm not sure if anything's inside terminal E yet nope let's take a look inside terminal D I think D still has there's one thing that changed within yeah so there we go so now let's change the time of day See if there's night lights in the terminal. Oh, snack. We got we got night lighting in the terminal. That you can see from the outside, I think. Yep. 
So that's been added. That's pretty cool. Bad claim. Going to Seattle. That's pretty cool. Hey, Huff Daddy, how's it going? All right, let's 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 back up. Okay, we're almost done with the list. We added He added some ground traffic. As you can see, we got a lot of ground traffic going on. Trucks, cars, fuel trucks, etc. Uh, added, added more detail to the de-icing pads. Okay, let's go take a look. The de-icing pads, I think, are up here. Yep, right here. So here's your de-icing pads. So these are brand new. Um, and he, it looks like he added some markings so the planes will come up and say, hey, park at 11G, 12G, whatever, for your de-icing. That's cool. That's amazing detail on these de-icing frequency, 131.325. I, I don't know how to do, uh, I don't know how to do the the ortho on the Mac was the, I don't know I think Torb was running a Mac for a while a great Canadian con tradition that's for sure all right so there's the de icing pad details it's pretty cool fixed runway center lines oh. See, that's one of the things that I that I had reported to him, is when I was running down the runway, the the, the lines blurred, and I wasn't quite sure why. So if we simulate a takeoff, uh, it looks like they're still doing, they're not doing as much of a wavy wave, but they appear. But in an aircraft, it's going to be different than this camera view. But it's not wiggling as much, so that's good. Replaced several marshallers with DGS on the pole. Okay, so that's what I was referring to earlier. Is these um, uh, instead of the the marshaller, you've got this these uh, uh, light signals. Let's see if we can find one. That's a marshaller. Oh, by the way, there's my beautiful. 5729er Romeo, Cessna Rocks. <laughs> Trying to find a DGS. Those are all marshlers. Yo, John Fly, acknowledge the follower. I think this is a DGS there. Uh, we got a follower. Uh, it looks like it is Chinese characters. Can't quite read that. Kanji. Is that Hiragana Katakana? Welcome. Welcome aboard. All right, so yeah. So this, these red, uh, yellow, and uh, green will light up when you pull in if you have AutoGate installed right there. So that's pretty cool. Safe gate. Okay. So that's 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 new in some of the terminal areas. Wow. That's new. Little luggage cart guy. I like that. Yo, John Fly. Acknowledge the follower. We got another follower. DJ Dragon 737. Welcome. Remo uh, reworked concrete plate textures and added more variants. Reworked the control tower. Reduce the size by set a texture size by 75 percent. So there's the control tower. Looks like there's some. I'm going to report this because it it looks and maybe it's on purpose, but I can see. Oh. Steve99 with the sub, letting me rock the Invisistix. 
The Invisi sticks are real tonight. Thank you for the sub, Steve. Oh, snack. It just looks like, and I'm not sure if this is something that's on my end or setting, but it looks like we got the ability to see through the tower. But that's that's not that's not a deal breaker at all. But yeah, you can see the uh you can see the skyline through the tower, but that's fine. The scenery you made has that problem too. Okay. Oh, miles ahead the trip was <laughs> The trip was phenomenal. It really was. It was, I feel like I was in a dream, to be honest. So, yeah. Ever since that karaoke in the sky video, I've loved drumming over that Kenny Chesney song. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, this is X Enviro. Yep. Thank you, Steve. Thank you. Thank you for your explained goodness. Well, thank you for the sub. Thank you for the support. Appreciate that. Yeah, this is a very tall tower here in Salt Lake. Um, so he, anyway, I think he made it a little more friendly on the framage. Could be an X Enviro thing, yeah. Okay, what else we got going on? Of course, uh, this was, this was here before the, uh, the place where they practice the uh, the um, uh, fire emergencies. Terminal interiors are now lit up at night. Okay. All right. So then verbally, I'm just going to go through some things that have been moved to um, to version 1.1. Uh, 1.0 will be the release version, and then 1.1 will come later. The cargo terminal looks great. Uh what he's moved to 1.1 is the ability to open uh, the hangar doors, uh, custom jetway models for all gates. Uh, he has a 20, he'll have a 2017 version of the airport because what's happened is the airport is shooting for a whole new look in 2020. So um, he's going to slowly update his scenery over time and keep it up to date with construction. So he's going to show the construction site, the partial demolition of concourse uh, e um, and other demolition that's going on he's going to keep that updated in the sim we got mile high fsx sabine thank you so much appreciate that snacky snack sub appreciate the support uh, version 1.1, he should get some animated flames on that barbecue. I agree with that. The other thing he's doing is um, he says that, he, well, he's referencing X Plane 11 ground service routes. It depends on a, a WED release for that. He's uh, going to add, at, in version 1.1, he'll add KC-135 to the static aircraft library to replace the default KC-10. The vehicles, some of the vehicles are going to have PBR uh, materials. And then also some animated de-icing vehicles, possibly. So, yeah. Where'd the FedEx truck go? Did it disappear? I don't know. Did it just, did it just up and go away? Oh, is it right there? A lot more movement in this release candidate of the airport. All right, so a couple other things. Um, so uh, how, many, how many do we got in here? We got enough, big enough crew here to, to talk about a few things. Yeah, we got 100 plus, it looks like, at least. Um, so, um, so here's the good, some good news. Some of you guys may have missed it earlier, but um, so, so short final design is is Mr. X. It is the name of the of the, uh, the, the 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 scenery company that will release Salt Lake City. Mr. X is is uh, using that name. Um, so don't be worried about the reports that someone else is releasing a Salt Lake City payware because he is now going to be known as well he'll always be known as Mr. X, but he will release his products as short final design or SFD. Um Here's the good news. I'm going to give away three copies of Salt Lake City this 
coming weekend. This coming weekend, I'm going to be giving away three free copies of Salt Lake City from Short Final Design, Mr. X. So that'll be a lot of fun. Um, so be sure to tune in this weekend to the John Fly stream in order to win. Now, don't tell anyone, but there's a chance. There's a chance that you may have the opportunity to buy it before that stream. So keep that in mind. But uh, also uh, a couple of other things that are, are happening. Um, well, th those are the two big things, right? We're giving away three free crop, three, f three free copies of uh, Miss, uh, Mr. X uh, or short final uh, design on the weekend. It'll probably I'll probably do uh, all three of them on Saturday uh, morning, uh, morning to midday. I think I'll start streaming around seven a.m. ish, and I will. Uh, probably go for about five or six hours. So we're going to, if I don't give away all three during that time, I'll give away at least two on Saturday. But if I give away, um, if I don't give away the third one on Saturday, I'll, I'll save that last one for, uh, for Sunday. So that's Maverick. That's what I'm talking about. I probably won't be streaming for a very long time on Masters Weekend. So that's why we're doing a, probably a five or six hour stream. So we'll go from uh, 7 a.m., which I think is, if I'm not cur if I'm not mistaken, is one o'clock Zulu. Is that correct? So seven is one o'clock Zulu. So seven to eight, to nine to ten, to eleven to twelve to one. So I'll be probably going until about one Mountain Time. So yeah, be sure to to tune in for those uh, for the to, the free giveaways. Now those giveaways. Uh, are sponsored by um, a Short Final Design. And uh, Mr. X himself has, has donated that uh, those prizes to the stream. So, there you go. Why aren't you flying into KAGS like all the other golf fans this week? I totally should be, actually. El Gargantuan, if you're on MST, that sounds right. Okay, nice. Welcome to the Global Sim Alliance, El Gargantuan. El Gargantuan is the newest member of the Global Sim Alliance. So, check out his stream. Give the man a follow if you're not already doing so. So, yeah, there's Salt Lake City. Okay, so I will go ahead and take requests if there is anything else that you would like to see on the property before I take a flight in and out. We're going to take off and then we're going to land back at Salt Lake City. I should have him on. Yeah, no, I, th I, I, uh, I, I'm thinking he's asleep right now, being where he is. But uh, on Saturday or Sunday, he may, he may join in. He's joined in before, which has been a, an honor. Yeah, congratulations are in order. He, uh, El Gargantuan was uh, recommended uh, to me by uh, both uh, Cirrus Max. And a couple of others, but Cirrus Max said you should add him, and and Josh concurred. Is that the correct grammar? So yeah. FBO buildings, if there are any. Uh, well, we did show the upper limit aviation. Um, yeah, upper limit is helicopters. I didn't, I don't know. There's a, the Jet Center, though. We can take a look at the Jet Center. What about Garg? What do you mean, Garg? All right, let's see. I think it's going to be up here. Yeah, no. It's going to be out of the military area. All right, so here's the Jet Center. The Salt Lake City Jet Center. It's an FBO of sorts. And here is the Jet Center as well. With Texaco. And there's the Kibbe Executive Terminal. 
And there's tack hair. So yeah, those. Anything else? Yeah, El Gargantuan, uh, when I caught his stream when I was, I was in, where was I? I was with Max at the time, and I think I was, was I in the hotel? I think I was in the hotel in the Bahamas. Yeah, I was in Nas Nassau in Bahamas, and of course we were, <laughs> we were on Twitch. <laughs> And we caught your stream, and, and I think you mentioned to me that you were going to get a webcam, so that's pretty cool. <clears throat> Did you add the guy reading his newspaper? What do you mean? Was there a guy reading his newspaper in the scenery? Could you show how the lights work that guide you into the gate? Um, I could, but I don't think I have AutoGate installed at the moment. Let me check. No, I don't have AutoGate installed right now, so it won't work. But I'll plan on doing that this weekend. All right, well, we can do a quick flight. All right, so I'm gonna turn the battery on. I know I'm, I'm, my Cessna's parked at the terminal. The immersion has been ruined, but beacon on. We'll go uh, mixture rich, and we'll go. Um, yo, John Fly, acknowledge the follower. Nader here with the follow. Thank you. We'll go. Uh, oh, sound is off. Let's go up to a thousand RPM. Not much sound coming through right now. Alternator, avionics on, uh, second bus on. All right. Put Austin on the dash. I can do that. Okay. Austin is on the Zid dash. People are like, why are you in the terminal with a Cessna? Ooh, let's scr scratch the paint, though. Oh, hit the fuel truck. <laughs> Actually, you know what I might do? I did buy the I did buy the Eclipse. Yeah, that was like a that was like an insta buy for me. I do use OBS to stream. Yep. Yeah, I didn't do any pushback. There is pushback. There's both the auto gate uh, and the default laminar pushback. Oh my gosh, look at that PBR. Oh. Why no Eclipse stream? I, I could go in the Eclipse. Is there anyone here that could teach me how to turn it on? <laughs> I usually do a dry run in, in a plane before I stream it because it's a little embarrassing when you don't know how to start the plane, let alone fly it. Aerial Sim Gaming, how you doing, sir? Uh, a couple of a quick a, a quick recap uh, for the, the announcements. Um, uh, this is a release candidate uh, for Salt Lake City. 
and uh, this is release candidate, so the, the payware release of Salt Lake City is imminent. It is um, going to be released under a new uh, the new company name of Short Final Design, uh, or SFD, and uh, it's going to be sold on the org store. Um, and yeah, it's pretty. It's really close. It's coming up soon. The other part, the other announcements are, uh, well, we went through all the details here that were added to this, um, to add it to this stream. And, um, we're gonna give away three copies, courtesy of uh, of short final design, Mr. X. We're gonna give away three copies on our our weekend stream, so. So yeah, that's that's a couple of the announcements. What else is going on? How are you, Rush? In fact, uh, let me know if you're gonna if you're gonna uh, how it's coming with the uh, Panthera flight model, if you don't mind sharing. The moment when you see a Cessna parking at the gate, yeah, exactly. I noticed that the Panthera taxis a little easier than the Cessna does right now, but in in defense of all taxi taxi characteristics, I am still on public beta 17. I, as some of you know, I was in the Bahamas, flying in the real world this last uh, weekend, and I have not had a chance to back up my public beta 17 prior to updating to release candidate one. So you guys aren't even seeing RC1. You're seeing RC1 of Salt Lake City, but you're not seeing RC1 of 11. Yo, John Fly, acknowledge the follower. We got another follower, Big Bim B. Thank you for the follow. We'll do an intersection departure. And it'll be a no flaps takeoff. We'll lean. Actually, we're going to go full rich. Yeah, my MFG crosswinds are just a little too much here. That's a that torque factor is just a little too much. My my apologies for not having my equipment properly uh, calibrated. Why would you want to back up a beta just out of curiosity? Well, mostly, uh, John, it's uh, Jay Kraus. It's out of uh, habit. So uh, for those of you who don't know, I've been using X.11 exclusively uh, since public beta 1. So it uh, there's Wing Point Golf Course that's now closed, unfortunately, but there's rumors of it opening back up. Um, it's basically habit. Because occasionally, as you know, during the, the public beta phase, um, things broke from from version to version. So I, you know, when I went to public beta two, I backed up one. Now it really saved my bacon because public beta sixteen messed a lot of things up, and and along the way, like nine had some problems, eleven was stable, fifteen was stable, various different uh, renditions of the the PB were stable and some were not so I felt like and occasionally I went back to previous versions so is my 172 flight model or the stock yeah this is the I think this is let me double check rush pause this for a second I'd loaded your flight model but I have to make sure that this one is not your flight model so I must have reloaded I usually have I usually care keep and that's what I do with with the flight models too is I have a no flight model and with flight model version but this one's the no flight model which you could probably tell by the way I'm flying it and by the way you'd never do this in the real world the eclipse is early yeah you always fly in the wake of a 747. Yeah, it gives you a little extra lift. Uh, 
doesn't it? This is going to be a pay payware release. Yep. It's going to be a payware release. I don't know the price yet, but... Uh, do not know the price yet I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna guess buzz in the terminals yep Let's go take a quick look at some of the detail down here. What an amazing airport. I'm only getting 47 frames right now though. All right, let's do a landing and then we'll, uh, we'll load up uh, a different plane. Am I a local to Salt Lake City? Yes, I am. Let me know when you uh, when you go live, Arrow. Uh, you plan to go live in the next hour or so, or sooner. And what's the? Can we get a little preview of the content? I flew into Boston. There's a YouTube video. You're playing with some stuff. Okay, cool. Well, uh, Aerosim Gaming will be going live here uh, tonight, so we'll have uh, some additional entertainment available. So let's, that'll be good. I feel like I'm off center a little bit, but with the view, but I can't tell. See, I'm not even on the brakes. I'm not even on any of the rudder pedals, and it does that weird ground maneuver, so I don't know what's going on there. Obviously, I landed at a high speed, but yeah, it just doesn't feel right. It's weird. Maybe it's time to update to release Candidate 1. <laughs> Did you mess with any of the ground handling, Rush? on your flight model, or does that just affect the, the aerodynamics? Don't wipe the plane across the, t the tarmac. Yeah, no kidding. Man, I love this plane. Besides the ground handling. It's just really good. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to... Uh, the 172. I was referring to the 172. Uh, X camera, I don't know where you get good X camera configs. I wonder if I have auto gate in my standby plugins. Because I kind of wanted to test that DGS to see what happens. So uh, if I go to output, or sorry, resources, plugins. Yeah, plug in standby. All right. We're going to throw AutoGate back in. All 
And the other thing we'll do is we'll load up the uh, we'll load up a different aircraft. We need a West Coast FS Con. Yeah, I think it's just a matter of time. I'd like to actually talk to the organizers of of FS Con and say, "Hey, are we looking any to expand any sort of situation?" I'd like an X plane con personally, but and I tried to get it going, but the the traction was not enough, and the timing wasn't wasn't good. How much, I don't. That question is very popular tonight. I don't know how much she's going to be charging for it. I don't I couldn't even guess, you know. If we had other if we had other uh airports of his to compare to, it'd probably be pretty similar. Now correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't that the new plane that's not that Delta doesn't have yet? Isn't that like called the C S is it the C S one hundred? I can't even remember. Canada, and yeah, it's a good time. We're having a good time. So anyway, for those of you who joined a little bit later, be sure to tune into the John Fly stream this weekend, this uh, this Saturday, Saturday morning. We'll be streaming uh, very early for about six hours, and we'll be giving away th uh, three. Uh, free copies of Salt Lake City. So I'm going to give away, well, I should back up. We're going to give away a three, a total of three copies, two of them for sure on Saturday, and one I might save for the Sunday stream if I stream uh, Sunday morning before the uh, Masters. So this is the Bomb Bombardier CS100 or 300. Okay. I think this might be the 100. Oh, the 100 has bigger engines? Okay. I'm just downloading something right now, so bear with me. Actually, I better download a few things. There's a new Zebo. I go to the Bahamas. I fly in the real world, and there's a new Zebo. While I'm downloading, I might as well show one video for my trip. By the way, I started cutting the YouTube videos. Uh, what I'm probably going to do is I'll probably show a couple of the you know, USA footage from our real-world flights this weekend on my channel, but then I think some of the, the Bahamas stuff I'll just leave for uh, Cirrus Max's channel. It's pretty good stuff. Yeah, they, they should be pretty good videos, for sure. Just want to bring up this one video. So how many of you guys watch Narcos? Oh, it doesn't let me attach videos. Uh, so we went in one of the in in one of the legs that we did. We went to Norman's Key, which is a, a big hot spot for uh, for Pablo to to smuggle. And so we we landed there and got a little a little bit of the history lesson, um, which is kind of funny. 
Well, maybe let's go up to Google Drive for a second here. So I was just going to show a quick video of what I did when I got to Norman's Key. All right, that's loaded up. This is what I did. Oh, it's processing. It'll be a second. When we landed safely, this is this is what oh, I did. Oh, filming. Oh, snack. Don't send it to Reg. Oh, he's filming. Oh, snack. Don't send it to Red Girl. <laughs> In Norman's K, John Fly right, Live. Bring it around. <laughs> Watch the moonwalk. Back it up. Back it up. <laughs> Check out those moves. I was rocking to pink. That's just a little snippet of whoa, the, the fun times we had. <laughs> oh, it's funny. White man thinks he can dance. All right, I think we're ready to restart the CM. So bear with me as I restart. Got I loaded auto gate. <laughs> was I on anything? No. Well, I we actually was. I was high on life because I was freaking flying a flying a, a um I'm gonna ignore that. I was flying a a, a serious beautiful aircraft around the uh, Caribbean. In fact, I'll just show you guys a little bit more. Josh posted this earlier today. Here we go. I mean, that's that was my weekend. What were you guys doing? <laughs> uh, the audio is kind of jacked up on it, though. So, plus there's a few f bombs that I don't. Not by me, but by someone else, by another pilot outside of this plane. No, just kidding. Look at how gorgeous that is. A little snippet of uh, some of the footage that may come here in the near future. And this is all, I, this actually, this footage here I don't think was shot with a uh, GoPro. It was actually shot with a um, an iPhone. So, did you find any stowaway piglets when you got back? I, we wanted to take one of them. In fact, Josh and Brittany named one of the pigs um, Holstein. Why am I still on the beta? I just haven't had a chance to upgrade yet. See if you can get the local news to use that footage also. <laughs> yeah. Pull the shoot, have a pool party. Yeah. Can you get my P3D config? Yeah, this is P3D, right? This is 64-bit P3D version 4. The Italian food looked great. Was that at a hotel or the house? Uh, that was at the hotel. El Gargantuan, I've got a new PC that shows up here pretty soon. And I'm actually tempted to load P3D. Don't tell anyone though. I I I, I don't know what plane I would fly in P3D. If I would fly the NGX or if, I don't know. Canada didn't have a good one. 
Thanks for jumping in. Went from touring the beta of Salt Lake to touring the beta of Key West. Yes, this is the beta of M. Congrove. Yep. All right. So that anyway, that's that video's out there. It's kind of gorgeous, isn't it? I won't spoil this, some of the other tidbits. Josh might show it on his next stream. All right, so what plane should we do? I guess we'll do the Zebo, just to be able to show the, um, to see if we can get that red light working. So Salt Lake City, I don't know what gate that was though. I think it was over here at C4 maybe. Let's try that. What height? Well, right there, McTrine, we were landing at uh, Staniel Key. So we were getting into the pattern altitude at Staniel Key, about 1,000 feet. We were coming down to 1,000 feet anyway. Was the weather ever sporty? Um, there was some a little bit of winds in the islands, but not too bad. The, the, the main sportiness was on Friday. Oh, John Fly. Acknowledge the follower. The main sportiness was on Friday when we were flying down from New York to fl uh, well, we flew we flew from uh, from New York to Charleston, South Carolina, and we had to dodge some major storms. Some of you guys were tracking the plane on FlightAware, and it was it was we it was pretty crazy. It, we were in soup. It's the longest I've ever been in soup. So. Ah, Gold Z77. Should we expect a Salt Lake City release? Very soon. There's a reason that I'm streaming tonight. Let's put it that way. It's very, very soon. In fact, Gold Z, if you missed it, I'm giving away three copies. I'm giving away three copies courtesy of Mr. X short final design uh, this weekend. I'm giving away three copies free of Salt Lake City. So, there you go. Oops. The plane's not supposed to be on. Let's do one more thing here so we can see if this actually works. Uh, yep, auto gate's in there. Okay. Oh, I'm glad you enjoyed watching there. Yeah, watching it was a good time. All right, El Gargantuan, off to see the fam. Take care. Thanks for jumping in there. Catch you on a, a stream soon with your P3D. So, I'm going to do one thing. I'm going to go with, just, just to test this, I'm going to do this. Okay. Auto gates coming in. It's pretty good looking livery. All right. Do you see any movement on there? It's probably going to be only when you pull in, right? So let's pull out. So we'll come up here and we'll go. Uh, Quest ground handling, and we will go. Yeah, we'll go straight back. Okay, I'll send the push card. Thank you. Yeah, I, I don't know exactly when it'll be released, but let's put it this way. If I'm giving away a copy of it this weekend... Um, Here we go. If I'm giving away a copy of it this weekend, then... And I'm pretty sure you'll be able to buy it this weekend, so I will say that much. And if you don't already know, this is available on the Pilot Edge Network. This 
this fine airport. Catch you next time. Will do. All right, so now Now the question is, do you think I've initiated enough? Do you think that green light up there actually is working now? I think it is. I think that green light says I can go in. So let's uh, go ahead and advance the throttles. And we're gonna hope that that changes to red when I get up close. XP Aviator, yeah, this would be a, a fine collection for anyone out there. So again, I'm giving away three copies of it for free. I don't know what the price will be, but uh, yeah, pretty exciting times. Still says green, still says green. Better slow down. I'm going to wait for it. I guess it'll go yellow and then green. There's yellow. Let's see how good it gets. All right. I said go there. It's pretty good. So that works. Parking brake coming on. If you type in exclamation Zebo DB Vetter, exclamation Zebo Z I B O, it'll it'll give you a link. Um, that's pretty cool. All right. So we tested that. So now I need to do this.